Hello. In this video, we will derive the radial solution of Darcy's law for incompressible fluids. In this case, the only difference is that the flow occurs in a radial manner as opposed to linear. This flow is more representative of a reservoir. One of the changes is that the area perpendicular to the flow is the circumference of the cylinder 2 pi r multiplied by the thickness of the reservoir h. In contrast to pi r square in the linear flow for a cylindrical shape object. This system shows the radial system of the reservoir, where re is the reservoir's outer radius, rw is the weld radius, PE is the reservoir's outer pressure, and PWF is the well bore flowing pressure. The second change is that instead of the flow varying in the X coordinate, it will vary in the R coordinate, and thus, instead of having DP over DX, we will have DP over DR. We start with the differential form of Darcy's law and substitute the area perpendicular to flow, which is the circumference of the cylinder and change the coordinates from linear to radial. The equation becomes q equals 2 pi r kh over mu dp over dr. Then we rearrange the equation to obtain q dr over r equals 2 pi kh over mu delta p. Now we take the integral with the boundary limits in agreement with the system we showed before, thus obtaining the following equation. Then, we integrate the equation with the given boundary condition to obtain q len re minus len rw equals 2 pi kh over mu pe minus pwf. Finally, we rearrange the equation and use the natural logarithm properties to obtain q equals 2 pi kh pe minus pwf over mu len re over rw. This is the final form of Darcy's law for incompressible radial system. When using Darcy's law, three main unit systems can be used to find permeability. These units are explained in this table. It is important to note that since permeability values are very small in meters squared, a unit of Darcy or milli Darcy is used. For more information, check out my textbook and booklet on reservoir rock properties along with my lecture notes all provided in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.